So far we have studied about the derivative of Gaussian in one direction and its uh, effect uh, on the suppression of noise <coughs> and taking the as its or So far we have discussed about the Gaussian So far we have discussed about the derivative of Gaussian in one direction in gradient we take the derivative in x direction and derivative in y direction so when doing the same trick of taking the derivative uh, of our filter in what direction are we taking the derivative of Gaussian that determines the derivative of Gaussian? So let us suppose we want to take derivative in x direction and this little edge here we have the expression in here this little edge in this equation means to up imply is that that's a little filter and that just takes our derivative in x direction this will take the derivative in x direction and maybe it's a Sobel operator or maybe it's some other operator but it's a small filter taking a derivative and g here is our Gaussian so as we said before because of the associative property uh, of this uh, uh, this operation uh, besides smoothing and they are taking the derivative we can apply the Gaussian with its derivative that's what is shown here and here minus 1 and 1 is its generic uh, derivative operator and G is the Gaussian represented by a matrix here is the matrix uh, this is the uh, G and this is adds which is minus one one this is the generic derivative operator and this will uh, result in a function of uh, that is the first derivative of Gaussian like when we apply this derivative operator to this Gaussian function it will result to this uh, graph and it's the derivative of Gaussian and which when I apply to the image gives me the derivative of Gaussian smooth image so we do this in x direction and then in y direction here we can see here this is the uh, derivative of Gaussian in x direction and we can see here the picture the picture below and uh, this is in x direction and this picture below uh, this is the picture of this plot and uh, here we can see the zero values is represented by the uh, gray pixels and negative is represented by the uh, black we can see here the positive values we can see here the values above the uh, zero is represented by the gray and the values uh, below the zero or negative values are represented by the black and it's same in y direction we can see here it's the same in y direction now uh, uh, this is how it's this is how we get the uh, Gaussian and the smooth uh, like the derivative of this Gaussian in 2d now the question uh, arises like how big the Gaussian should we use we can see here uh, as we studied in our previous lectures that we can pick a different size of Gaussian and we can get more or less a smooth version of the image and the same is true here when we compare to the derivative so we can change the Sigma like we can see here we can choose the size of Gaussian and get the uh, smooth like when we use very small uh, size of Gaussian then the it's uh, not blurred that much 
but if we as we increase the size of Gaussian the degree of uh, mm, blurring gets increased and here we can see with the bigger size of uh, Gaussian the Im image is blurred uh, strongly and here uh, as we change the size of uh, Gaussian it also affects the uh, like the scale of feature that is detected or the scale of edges that is detected so uh, we change the sigma the size of Gaussian and when we do it we will get the enhance uh, we'll get enhancing the magnitudes of the derivatives as a function of how quickly the image varies over the space so smaller the sigma uh, finer features are detected and larger the sigma large scale edges are detected and as we can see here the smaller the va smaller values the finer features are detected and larger values large uh, scale edges are detected and now uh, we know how to compute the smooth derivatives and gradients now we can return to the question like how do we gradually find the edges and find fundamentally it's a multi-step process like first we do smoothing uh, like derivatives to suppress the noise and compute the gradient and next we threshold the threshold to find the regions of significant gradient and next we thin to get the localized edge pixels and uh, finally we link or connect these edge pixels we can see here like uh, we smooth and then we threshold and we get the localized edge information and finally link or connect the edge pixels